Hey guys, I am Wizarding World YouTuber Victoria McLean and today is all about Professor Dumbledore from Bradford Exchange! <laughs> give you an apology Harry is poorly so I was off on Monday I didn't do a video as you know um, as you know my babies always come first and he's still off loving but he is much better today but he's not well enough to go to school he's missing his trip to Cadbury world with his class tomorrow he's absolutely gutted because it's all chocolate but because he's so poorly he just can't go it's not Covid it's tonsillitis with everything else on top love him and now Adam's off as well my life everyone's getting sick this time of year what is going on so today is all about Bradford Exchange Dumbledore figure and I've got a little secret I have picked inside the box but I will explain in a bit okay so if you want to see what's inside this box then keep on watching if you would like me to bring a Bradford Exchange to you then make sure that you subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the all-important notification bell as well let's get started <gasps> So today I am using the Queenie Goldstein one from Fantastic Beasts. This is by Noble Collection. And I've got to be honest, hers is one of the prettiest, isn't it? With that stunning shell detail on the top. And I love the kind of like, almost like a retro style kind of pattern on there. It's really, really is a beautiful one. Did you know that apparently the cast actually had a hand in designing their own ones, which some of the Harry Potter cast apparently were really miffed about because they didn't get that option. But that's really nice that they had a hand in designing it because nobody knows the characters better than obviously JK Rowling and themselves as well. So that was a really lovely thing to find out. And I don't know if that is that 100% true, but that's what I found out a long time ago. But what do I say? I'm going to put it back before I break it. So we refer back to our Harry Potter A Magical Year. What happened on this day all those years ago in the wizarding world? 16th of February. Sir Cadogan. Is that how you say it? Sir Cadogan. Did you just let a man enter Gryffindor Tower? Certainly, good lady, cried Sir Cadogan. Sir Cadogan. There was a stunned silence both inside and outside the common room. You? You did, said Professor McGonagall. But, but the password. He had, um, Sir Cadogan said proudly. Had the whole weeks, my lady, um, read off a little piece of paper. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Chapter 13, Gryffindor versus Ravenclaw. I think that's referring to when um, Sirius Black finds the piece of paper that Neville writes all the passwords down on. Naughty little Neville, bless him. But uh, yes. That was a very, very naughty time indeed. So today is all about this incredible Bradford Exchange Dumbledore figure from Ashton Drake and Bradford Exchange. Now, as I said, I have sneaked inside because there was a rattling noise and I was a little bit concerned when they passed it to me. However, it was just Dumbledore's stand had come loose. Nothing was broken. It's very, very rare that anything of Bradford Exchange ever arrives broken. They are so good. And just an update on the, the Harry Potter where his hand snapped. They have already sent, they are already sending me a replacement. So that has been straight away, that was dealt with instantly. They are very, very good. They The customer satisfaction is their number one priority. And another update, if you remember, this fantastic Mandrake was only available in the US. It is now available in the UK as well. So I will put the link down below for you. Oh my life, is there any other messages I need to give you? Just give me a minute, talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> No, I think that's it. I'm pretty sure. Now the link for this Dumbledore will be down below in the comments. Now this is for dump this is for Dumbledore in the US. No, this is for Bradford Exchange in the US. I'm not sure about other parts of the world whether they have it yet. But let's get him out of the box. I have had a sneak peek, as I said, there was a rattling inside, and I was very concerned. 
and I it was just something simple and it was fine it was dealt with really quickly but oh my life he looks amazing I have had a little sneak peek now I was one of the first people to find out about this Dumbledore and I am the first youtuber to get one again these are all officially licensed speaking of officially licensed what do you think of my Catherine Kid 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 Kidman Kid Kidston Kidston my jumper isn't this gorgeous I love it I had no idea that the patterns on it were so fantastic but I, I just got to talk about this jumper for a minute because this has got it's got almost like a story of like the philosopher's stone on it and i've got the tea the tea set as well for two and it's the same pattern it's so beautiful i love their stuff when i first saw it before christmas i wasn't that fussed and then the more i looked at it the more i thought oh my life i have to have this set so i bought the thanks to my lovely lovely friend marion simmons i got hold of the tea set and I've had this fantastic jumper from Next. It is just beautiful. Again, I love telling you about the things I'm wearing. So I will put the link down below for you. You will only see me wearing either normal clothes or officially licensed from now on because I have made a pack to myself. So this is the box, the Ashton Drake box. Harry Potter, obviously all officially licensed for ages 14 and up, contains choking hazard. And we have the same thing um, as the Mandrake and the Dobby. So, so far out of the series, we've had the Mandrake, the Dobby, the Harry Potter, and then this Dumbledore. So there are four in fantastic figures that I have been sent. So are you ready for this? Because he is seriously something amazing, okay? not very you can't really see much there can you sorry spoiler alert there's nothing to see right now <laughs> so this was what was actually have you quite finished have you quite finished have you this was what was rattling around it was his stand but it's fine there's nothing wrong with it. it's not broken it had just become loose in transit i'd actually scared my contact at bradford exchange so i went I had to open the box because something was rattling and after the whole Harry incident she was like my heart my heart just stopped <laughs> I'm so sorry for scaring you but here we have a masked look he's ready for Covid look 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 he's, he's all Covid protected how good is Dumbledore um he's all masked up there so we've got Dumbledore and I think forks in here as well so I think that's what this is here but just on this, like, this is really starting to annoy me this piece of paper and I'm going to glue it into place in a minute. Um, just on that bit, bot the bottom bit there alone, it's so sparkly. And then we have Dumbledore up there. So let's see about getting into him and uh, being very careful with the unboxing process. Remember what I said, and I will say every time I do these videos, please keep your packaging, Okay. Right, so I think this is, oh my god, his outfit is amazing. So let's put forks, I'm pretty sure that's forks, put him there. <gasps> oh my life, let's undo this part now. I know he's, he's, he's tied, as, as far as I'm aware, he's tied in place. Oh my god, his robes are outstanding. You ready? Look at the robes on this wonderful wizard how fantastical is this now this is the as far as i'm aware it's the richard harris version richard harris was my favorite dumbledore and i think he, you'll find it oh, wow he's a lot of people's favorites oh my god dumbledore you look amazing oh wow his face is so kind Okay, so Dumbledore, I'm going to have to ver- Oh my god, you look so fantastic. I'm going to have to try and get you out. I'm just not quite sure. Oh, you're not tied in place. He was kept in by the cardboard. But that's a good thing. It means I won't have to faff about getting him undone. So we've got lots of things to take off him. I'm not going to break this. I'm not going to break the hands this time, I promise. That was all my fault, that was. Right, I'm not going to pull that off because I might damage it. I'm going to take my knife and very carefully cut the tape around his hands. I can hear everyone taking a deep breath, just in case. <gasps> no, so far he's good. 
but I've just done doing a little bit of the tape so I can take the hand off because I don't want to yank it off. Okay, we are set. Oh my god, his hair is so wicked. Dumbledore, you look incredible. These robes are so lavish. They are so incredibly lavish. Okay, so we have the fantastic Dumbledore. Look at these robes, they're so thick. They are so incredibly detailed, and as I said, lavish in nature, and the purple on him is so royal. He may as well have been Wizarding World royalty, you know, he is just exquisite and his hair is so fluffy although you, you've woken up with a bit of bed head uh, at Mr Dumbledore, uh, Professor Dumbledore, Mr Dumbledore, Mr Dumbledore shirt um, but uh, you, you, you're kind of like we're trying to smooth it down it looks like you've got a dead cat on the back of your head but that's probably because he's been in the box traveling for so long but he is so beautiful look at the detail of this robe just look at that isn't that stunning it looks like it is all it is it's all embroidered this is completely embroidered and it is just so fantastical and so magical in its appearance that it's like, I want a dressing gown like this, you know? It's just so gorgeous. His beard is solid, but his hair is soft. And then his hat is the same pattern and embroidered material for fabric as his gorgeous robes, his purple, purple robes. And his, uh, and his glasses feel and look metal, possibly plastic, but they do look metal. They're very well situated on his head. All of you guys saying that, you know, oh my God, I have to get Harry. Well, you're going to have to get Dumbledore now because this is actually a million times better than Harry. I mean, I, I've Harry was great. I can see him now. He's wonderful. He was beautiful and I loved him until I broke his hand. Um, and then I still loved him and then I felt really guilty. But we did stick them back on. They were back on. They are back on. But this is just... I think it's the face looking so realistic. And then obviously with the hair, because it's so flyaway, it's very, very Dumbledore with the white, you know. But then you have these incredible incredible robes of brilliance of of magical kind of ecstasy in this fabric it's just so so beautiful and i just love the seal the silver the silver the silver kind of embroidered detail with a hint of almost like um a blue poking through on the flowers there and then the black, almost like a, a like, like a velvet almost. You've got obviously this velvet part at the top of his head. So it's an incredibly royal and an incredibly grand designed replica of Dumbledore as a character. It kind of speaks volumes to his character, seeing him as such a beautiful, beautiful robe. I keep keep seeing this freaking robe and the embroidered detail. It's just so fantastic. Look at the embroidered detail. Look at it. It's so stunning and you can see in there that it is actually stitched. It's just so magical. It's so beautiful. So we're going to have a look at the parcel that came with him and see if we can happily reunite Forks with Dumbledore. All ah, right, okay. The, the actual item is right by the edge of this. So I've got to be very careful opening the, the sellotape, taking the sellotape out. Oh, you can feel it under the sellotapes. So you've got to be so careful with this. Fawkes' head is right by the sellotapes. So you've got to be very careful when opening this, okay? Now, it looks like there are more parts to this packaging. I'm not quite sure. No, it seems good. It seems good. So we have Dumbledore's Elder Wand there. So let's pop that in the packaging. And then we have beautiful Fawkes, which is so, so stunning 
Right, I'm not putting the wand in Dumbledore's hand because I'm very nervous, although there is a hole there ready. So maybe I'll have a look. Well, let me have a look. <laughs> have a look. I'm, not, I'm not breaking this one. I am not breaking this one, okay? Okay, it was easy. It was fine. It was easy. It was good. It was good. Whew. Okay, panic over. So we have Dumbledore's wand. It could go in further, but that is all I am going to do. I am not putting it any further than that. And then we have the stand for Dumbledore. So let's get that out ready. Look at that. Okay, so we have Dumbledore and then we have the stunning forks to match. Look at that. Isn't he beautiful? Let's put Dumbledore. Would he fit there? No, he's not gonna fit there. Let's put him on my table. He's a little bit drunk, but let's have a look at forks. Now he's been very securely placed on the stand, on Fawkes' stand. So there we have Fawkes. Isn't he beautiful? And he will stand proudly with Dumbledore as well. He is gorgeous. And let's see about straightening up Mr. Dumbledore. Or well, Albus Dumbledore, Professor Dumbledore, obviously, I'm well aware but uh, he's a little bit far forward. He has got to stand inside his body, is kind of wrapped around his midriff, as you like, but he can, you can, uh, he's articulated, so you can bend his legs to fit better, like so. No, he is too big, isn't he? He is huge. He must be about 12 inches. That's crazy. But there you have it. We have Forks and we have Dumbledore. So what do you think of these fantastic new creations by Ashton Drake through Bradford Exchange? I He is my favourite. He, Him and the Mandrake are my absolute favourite. I love him. He's so beautiful. Now where am I going to put you? It's a bit of a tricky one, isn't it, Professor Dumbledore, sir? I'm not quite sure where to put you but you are so stunning. I love him, he's gorgeous. So let me know in the comments below, what did you think of Professor Dumbledore? Will you be getting him? Check out all the links below. I'll put everything down there so you won't miss out. And uh, I think between me and Mr. Dumbledore, or Professor Dumbledore, uh, we will say goodbye and see you next time. Take care, love you all, bye bye. <laughs>